Welcome traders, David DeBay of Polaris Trading Group. Today I'm going to walk you through a short video example of our CCI crossover system, also known as the premium and discount, utilizing our auto trade assistant. The trade example will be for the S&P 500 E-mini futures. Trade date today will be 1-5-2018 and the chart size will be our 5-minute chart. Before we get to the trade example, industry regulations require that we identify NFA compliance rule 2-29C. In short, hypothetical performance results have many inherent limitations, some of which you may see here on our uh, trade example. Trading in futures and derivatives on future is speculative in nature and involves substantial risk of loss. Past performance is not indicative of future results. All right, so this is our chart that we're going to show you an example of, and this is the completed trade, so you'll see what's happening uh, in advance. Uh, let's just walk through this now. This will be a simulated uh, example. Again, this is from uh, January 5th, 2018, in the S&P E-mini futures on a five-minute chart. Just to walk you through what you're seeing here is on the bottom panel is our CCI crossover uh, system oscillator which we use and we're looking for buy opportunities when the oscillator reaches down in what's referred to as the discount area right, which is down at the lower part of the oscillator. Uh, at the same time we want to make sure that the uh, price condition is in an ups upsloping trending type condition so simply we're looking to buy a pullback within the context of a developing or an existing uptrend condition and once we have uh, a signal on a pullback in price under this correct conditions the system will generate a signal for us as you can see here on the screen denoted by the white uh, price bar uh, uh, along with an arrow uh, that's pointing actually to the price bar uh, once the full conditions are uh, valid the auto trade assistant you'll see up here in this little status box we have the PTG ATA which stands for auto trade assistant and we have that enabled uh, for a buy only in this condition since the market is trending uh, upwards we have an example a max dollar risk per trade of five hundred dollars and our entry style will be a stop now it says the order status is off and the reason for that simply is we're in simulation mode but in live mode it would say order status uh, live and it would execute and send the order uh, directly to the CME exchange uh, also we have a position sizing algorithm uh, that automatically position sizes based on our uh, dollar risk amount willing to uh, trade for each uh, set up in this case again five hundred dollars and what we'll see here is that the auto position size will uh, position us uh, for four contracts and once we the system generates the execution uh, it will automatically uh, scale out so let's get that set up for you and walk through the example okay so we're back here I've set up the chart uh, just ahead of the signal that we're going to be uh, having an auto execution on here in our CCI crossover system so let's just walk you through this before we uh, turn the speed up a little bit you'll see that uh, prices has begun somewhat of a pullback here off its uh, recent highs you'll also see down below the oscillator now it has entered into the uh, oversold or discounted type uh, condition what we're looking for the market then to do now is reach a point on the pullback where the oscillator now begins to shift back upwards and uh, in doing so will give us a signal uh, f that the market's pullback has gone uh, far enough and then now the buyers have started re-entering uh, the market. At that point we'll be looking for to re-enter to enter the market uh, long in this case since the market is in an uptrend uh, condition. All right, so let me speed up the simulation here a little bit. So, all right. Okay, so you can see prices is pulling back a little bit. All right, again, this is a five-minute uh, chart. Each bar is five minutes. You can see the countdown timer there on the bar. 
Okay, at this point, let me just stop the uh, screen here and you'll see that on the oscillator down below, you can see it start turning up, hooking up back above that discount uh, level. At that point, the market is giving us a signal that the pullback in price has uh, worked its way uh, to its lowest point and now buyers are starting to step back in. This is the point of which the, the system gives us an automatic uh, trade setup. And you can see this is the trade planner here. Uh, it has not placed the order yet. Uh, the market must uh, have a bar close here before uh, the execution uh, will unfold. But once the bar closes, we'll see that the market will automatically uh, uh, place the order and execute. And then it will also automatically place uh, the targets along uh, what we call the trade planner. First goal is to get to the risk-free level here, 1R value. It will automatically place our stop based upon our position sizing. Uh, risk limits as well as play, auto place the uh, target levels. So let's uh, restart the simulation and I'll let it run a little bit and we'll show you how it works. Okay, now it's placed the orders here. All right, stage the orders with a buy stop. Once it triggers through the 2733s, as it just did, it triggered off a total of four contracts. So we have a four contract stop down at the stop level. And as you can see here, we've um, the auto stage the orders two contracts to sell at the risk free level and then two at the next level. So what we're going to do here is we're going to adjust our exits here and we're going to place Right, so two here at the first level and then a scale out at one at target one and a scale out of the uh, last lot at target two. So let's just increase the simulation a little bit so we don't waste too much video time here. So the market has executed it, placed the stop, and now has, uh, has placed our exit. So now it's just a matter of the market unfolding. All right, and as it does so, once it reaches uh, the particular levels, it will uh, certainly scale out. Okay, let's just get, increase it a little bit further so we don't waste too much video time. Coming up to our first target, there we go. First target has been met. And now what happens here, the way we have it set up in our algorithm, is once prices reach that first risk-free level, in other words, here we bought four contracts, we sold two uh, at our first uh, equidistant level from our stop loss. What happens at that point, we have it set up where we have an auto break even, so the stop loss order uh, is moved to the entry price. Okay, so that is a user-defined um, function, right? And you're you're welcome to you know use that. So we have it set up that way, all right? And you'll see here how the rest of it does play out up to the targets here. Yes, discount. Okay, and you'll get a notice uh, many times uh, audibly that there's a discount there that you just heard. Try to get, speed up the simulation a little bit. Here we go. Second target has been uh, hit. All right. Now at this point here, uh, the stop remains at the entry point. Now at this point, uh, you what you the trader can either leave it the stop in place, or many times uh, what they'll do is they'll come in and drag it up to the next level. So as an manual trailing stop. In a future version of our auto trade assistant, we will have an what's referred to as an auto trail, but currently that's not uh, instituted yet. So any trailing stops would need to be uh, used manually. But again, it's all within the user's um, 
uh, ability to manage uh, their trades effectively. All right, and the last thing we'll do here is just watch it. It will hit the final target as we saw at the beginning of the video, and which will complete our trade. And there we go. All right, so all three targets now uh, have been uh, hit. And we'll just cancel the balance of, of the stop. So the stop has not uh, been triggered. So we just simply cancel the balance of that. And that is the completion of this trade. Now, this is obviously a perfect example of our CCI crossover uh, premium and discount. And but utilizing the auto trade assistant. Now, this can be used not only in a five minute, can be used on uh, various uh, type chart sizes, such as a tick chart or a Renko chart. Uh, which we utilize uh, daily in our trading room uh, but this is a perfect type uh, setup now they, they're not always as clean as this but again uh, one of our goals here at Polaris is to seek out uh, the best trade opportunities not marginal ones so this is one what would qualify uh, for a high uh, a high quality type setup now there's always risk involved and we manage our risk uh, aggressively but as soon as we get to our risk-free level, all right, that's uh, our first goal is to is to shut our some initial risk. That way, then we can go into management mode and uh, utilize um, the functionality of, of uh, the targets uh, to get uh, to get successful outcomes. All right, uh, thanks for watching this uh, video. Uh, this is our just wanted to pass along a first trade of. Uh, set up uh, opportunity for 2018 here utilizing our CCI crossover system and if you'd like any more additional information on uh, what we're doing here at Polaris Trading Group uh, feel free to contact me at david at polaristradinggroup.com uh, or visit our website at www.polaristradinggroup.com and uh, sign up for a uh, trial uh, thank you very much and uh, best of trading for you for 2018 thanks Bye-bye.